Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a video that is super exciting, or at least we think so. Today we will be comparing South African versus American accents, or just basically ways of saying the same thing differently. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you joined us today. Let's do this. So how we're going to do it is first we're going to look at words that is the same word but we pronounce it differently because of our accent. Completely different. And uh, this, by the way, has caused a lot of disagreements. <laughs> and then secondly, we're going to look at words that have the same meaning but we just say totally different words for it. Here we go. Just a little disclaimer. I'm not saying the way that I'm pronouncing it is the correct South African way. It may just be how I pronounce it. It may not be how everyone pronounces it, but yeah, just so you know. This word was probably the first word that Preston and I disagreed on. Um, and I think at the end we found out that Preston's pronunciation was the correct one. Right. Preston was right. In South Africa, we would say <laughs> Nike instead of Nike. Which is the shoes, the athletic wear, just do it. They pronounce it Nike. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, I have a pair of Nikes, or, you oh know. Oh my word. And when I first heard that, I almost lost my mind. Yeah. I thought they were just kidding. The next, Nike. The next word is, I would say, I can't do this. And person would say, can't. I can't do this. But I actually don't I sound like that. I prefer how we say it. I think it sounds I very nice. I can't. Okay, this word is something that we figured out that we say differently when we went to the zoo last week. So, uh, Preston would say a... Oh my gosh. A jaguar. Like a that jaguar. animal. And I would pronounce it as jaguar. Jaguar. Which I don't know if all South Africans say it that way, but that's definitely our Jaguar. <laughs> jaguar. Unbelievable. It's what a jaguar. It's a jaguar. Okay. Anyways. Search it. And then the next one, I would say we're following a specific route. And Preston would say? Route. Route. That's exactly what it is. But ever since I've been in South Africa, I find myself saying route. And I'm like, yeah. what's happening to me? Yeah. So. I guess that's because of the Afrikaans sounds very similar to that because we it's a route. So, route. Yeah, okay. route. And then the last pronunciation word is I would say I eat a potato. And Preston would say? Potato. No. You guys say potato. <laughs> you don't say potato. Yeah, okay, okay his mom says, I would like to eat a potato. Potato. Or a tomato. Potato. We say it as from down south. We forget some of the letters added on. Potato. So we just say, so now we're gonna moving on. Move on to uh, how we say a specific word and then they just say like something totally wrong. Totally wrong. <laughs> the first word, this is actually also the first word that we figured out that we just say totally different. The very first time we made, we were like, we have to stop at the robot. And Preston was like, robot? What the yeah. heck is that? Yeah, for the longest I couldn't understand it. I mean, where I'm from, we'll give directions and be like, turn right at the first red light you see. Yeah. I, I mean, some people may call it traffic lights or stop lights, but... I don't know, I've always just said at the red light turn this way or at the red light you go that way. I call it a red light. And I don't I'm know sure where they get robots robot from. is not the correct English word to say it, but we just say we stop at the robot. The next one is, I mean, all South Africans know, we say we're about to braai. Like a braai. Like no matter if you're Afrikaans or English, you braai. And you say? Barbecue. No. Down south braai barbecue. Is so much better. <laughs> Just the other day, she was like, mm, I can go for some good barbecue. Yeah, because they don't understand when I say braai. I would say, hi, you guys. And Preston says, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, I love that word. That's probably my favorite Look at that thing. southern Louisiana word. Y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, I mean, we, some, sometimes I'll say you guys or something like this, but it's mainly y'all. We would say, I want some sweets. That was weird the first time we We said candy. Like sweets better. Sweets. That could be anything. Then this was something that was really interesting to me. In South Africa, we say um, this car is a bucky, and I, I'm pretty sure all English people say this. 
Uh, I don't think it's just Afrikaans people, but I think everybody says we call it a baki, and they say a truck. A truck, but we think of a truck as like a big vehicle that 18 wheeler. Yeah, 18 wheeler, or what do you call it, a Mack truck or something? Yeah, Mack truck, one of yeah. those big ones. But they say a truck for a baki. We would say. Um, oh, this is weird. <laughs> okay, you can say it first. For trunk, like on your car, when you put stuff in the back of your trunk, they call it a boot. Like, what? That doesn't make sense. I didn't get that. The first time our mom said, put it in the boot, I was like, the right or the left? You know, which <laughs> one? Get it? <laughs> we would say we honk the hooter. Hooter! What the deuce? That's hilarious. Say? Horn. Horn. We would say this is weird. you have to lift up the bonnet, like the front of your car is a bonnet. It's a hood. The hood of the car, they call a bonnet. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know how Okay. It's... Now, this is something that I just totally did not get when we moved to Louisiana. They would say, I'm fixing to do it. I'm fixing to do it, okay? I don't know. That might just be my favorite. That's me. No, actually, it's no, it's, it's no, all sad it's and all, people. yeah. Um, that means I'm about to do it. I'm fixing to do How it. How does that even make sense? It doesn't make sense at all. I'm fixing to do it is about to do it. Uh, it's Southern. I don't know. Us southern people, we got weird ways of saying things. Okay, then I, I would say this is quite a weird thing that South Africans say. Um, we Possibly would say, the most aggravating <laughs> thing ever. We would say, I'll do it now now, which means I'll do it later. That doesn't make sense. So, they always, I couldn't understand it forever when I was there working with dif different people and stuff like that. They would always tell me, I'll do it now now. And I'm like, okay, but you're not doing it. <laughs> Are you doing it? Yeah. Which now, now, man, at least three years from now. So that's it was ridiculous. Oh, I this would is say funny. I I'm pushing the trolley. And we call them buggies, like at the store, a buggy. This is also something that is so weird that Americans say. Okay, you say yours first. No, you say yours first. Then. No, you go first. No, you go first. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, all right, so. Um, something that I guess we would say if we haven't seen somebody in a long time. I don't know. I would say, like, I haven't seen you in a good minute, right? I haven't seen you in a minute. That means, know. like, you haven't seen them in a long time. And that doesn't make sense to me because a minute, in my opinion, is not long. It's really short. I haven't so seen you in a good minute. So how does that mean a long time? I don't know. I guess it's slang. I don't know where this stuff comes from. That doesn't make sense. Okay, then something that's all South Africans say is, oh, shame. And when I said it here, everybody was like, what is she saying? Like, that doesn't make sense at all. So it means like, poor thing, or, uh, for Wait, instance, what, what thing? Poor thing. Yeah, you said poor funny. <laughs> poor <laughs> thing, or if you're really country, you'll say, bless your heart. Bless your heart. But I don't do that, that's just weird. Bless yeah, so your heart. Shame. We would say, um, I'm like... about to eat some mints. And you guys mince. say? We call it ground meat. Ground meat. We say, um, I don't Oh, this is weird. I this was weird. The first time that I heard this, I didn't hear it until I was staying with Monique's family, so. We say, I'm gonna put on my swimming costume. Yeah, but they didn't use swimming at first. Yeah, her well, mom I mean, just I said, would just say, I'm gonna put on my costume. You're gonna put on your costume. I'm like, it's not Halloween. What are you putting on a costume for? So we call that bathing suits, which normal human individuals call them bathing suits. This is something very very confusing if you live in the south okay so we call a cookie a biscuit okay well most people do we would call it a biscuit like a lot a of people a lot of people in south africa call cookies biscuits yes. but mm. in the south they actually have a biscuit that's not a cookie it's like a like it looks like a scone but it's not we'll a scone we'll put up a picture yeah, As it's you can like a, see, it is nice, fluffy, and delicious. Yeah, so that's a biscuit. It's not it's a cookie. Say, it's savory. Like, it's a salty, soft thing that a lot of people eat for breakfast yeah. and stuff like that. South Africans would say, um, I, I'm going to drink some cool drink. Cool so, drunk. Yeah, but that's Afrikaans. Cool drunk. It's like, oh, good. Um, but I guess in like English, I would just say, I, I'm going to drink some cool drink. And you guys say? Soda. We use serviettes in South Africa. Uh -huh. And you guys use? Napkins. We eat chips, which is... Oh, I was about to say. 
fries, French fries. Fries. They so call them chips. I think South Africans would say chips for like um, the like lace chips and just for yeah, like, they do. fries. I've heard that. Yeah. We put petrol in our cars. We put gas. Gas. <laughs> this is quite a funny one. I don't know where South Africans really came about this, but we go to a place like McDonald's or KFC and get takeaways. <laughs> We call it fast food. This is something that I'm not sure if all South Africans call it like call it that, but like the stuff that you put on your nails, I would call it Q-Tex. But I know that that's probably a brand, but we would just say Q-Tex, like how we would call gum chappies, just because it's the brand, not necessarily because it's a chappie. But Q-Tex is when I know nail that. polish. Nail polish. Seasons of the year, we would say um, it is autumn, and you guys say fall. Fall. I guess. They fall down. Oh boy. I love when she tries to talk country. <laughs> it's hilarious. So we would say I wear tackies to go running. And you guys would say? Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes or running shoes. Tennis shoes. That would be the more thing that we call it. Alright, you guys. So that's a wrap up on this video today. But it was just a fun little comparison of what we kind of to but we wanted to kind of throw in and you know show you guys which have possibly caused at least 73 disagreements since we've been together our pronunciations and arguments and another funny one that I first heard was they call Nissan cars Nissans Nissans and the first time I heard that I almost lost my mind me and her mom we would always go back and forth it's hilarious it's the funniest stuff ever but it's awesome because you just you learn differences and, and where people do but I've picked up on a lot of things living in South Africa uh, for two years but both countries are beautiful and the different things we say is quite hilarious especially down here in the south always remember folks love God love people and love coffee it's not coffee. Yeah, it's clear coffee I'm fixing to have some coffee now fixing to have some coffee